That's yeah. a good hey, point. Hey, did, did Pollock say earlier that Florida couldn't run the ball? He did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I've got the solution for anybody that can't run the ball. Give it to him. <laughs> there you have it. Yes, Emmett sir. Smith. Oh, hold on, Emmett. Hold on, Emmett. Oh, Emmett was going to stumble before he got there for a second. Hold on, Emmett. Okay, let's get Emmett to the stage safely and be our celebrity guest picker with LC. The Home Depot delivered. College Game Day is built by the Home Depot. More saving, more doing. And in part by Reese's. Oh, hey. <laughs> May 15th, right? Yeah, yeah. Me too. Right. Moments away from the like football <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt Emmett and Desmond in their conversation. It's going to start for UCLA against Oregon State. And Chip tries to get it going. You see some of the other guys that we've mentioned over the course of the morning who will be able to go in the games coming up. Superdog standing oh, through. Man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Wow. Came out of nowhere. Somebody got some work. He was, he was oh, zero man. Man. two yeah. weeks ago. Are you serious? Well. <laughs> Okay, well, listen, well, this is my pick. I'm going so Oregon excited. State, UCLA. Now, we got Oregon State getting six and a half. The Bruins quarterback, starting quarterback, Dorian Thompson, Robinson, DTR, probably will not play. So I think Oregon State. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, North, yeah, yeah. North Carolina, <laughs> North Carolina, Georgia Tech. I know Georgia Tech can't score. North Carolina got gutted last week against Clemson. Closer than yeah. experts think. Yeah. All right, they got Buffalo getting four over Ohio. It's in Buffalo, it's homecoming, and the home team has won nine straight. Buffalo wins this one right out, right up. Go Buffalo! Three and a half. Go Buffs. Four. Hey, man, I must be feeling my oats <laughs> because Rice hasn't won a game, but they will today at Legion Field in Birmingham. Wow. Hey, Bloomgrid's team's been Bloom, close. They, they really like Bloomgrid's team. <laughs> yep, be getting better. A couple of their losses to undefeated teams, another one to Texas. I say they get the Blazers. It's on ESPN+, Plus, and they're getting ten and a half to help out the cause. Take a look at our Saturday selections brought to you by Coors Light and our celebrity guest, Pickers. And that has been, uh, everybody still chasing Matthew yeah. McConaughey, yep. though. Boy, they cannot catch Matthew McConaughey for yeah. Gabrielle Union and D-Wade last week. <laughs> they got over 500. They did. They, they got, got over 500. 500. You see yeah. Hughes sitting there in second. Auburn legend, Bo Jackson. Yeah. And today we have Florida legend, Emmett Smith, who hurt his mom, by the way, <laughs> said was brilliant on Dancing with the Stars. That's my yeah. mom said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did okay. I did all right. <laughs> hey, let's, let's rip through some picks here, Emmett. You know, yes. help us out. And uh, Desmond, get us started with Air Force and Navy. Well, you know, I want to pick Air Force, but my brother, you know, he's been texting wow. me. So I got to go Navy. I'm going midshipman in a close one. Wow. I'm going Navy as well. Roger Starbuck and company. We're going with Roger I love Starbuck. it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Anchors away, my boys. I'm set at home, Navy. Doesn't matter who Navy's playing. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with Air Force. Oh. Air Force and that or Air Force defense. Close, low scoring game, but I'm going with the foul. You had to be technical. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Bear had this one on the board. Tulane and Army. He's going with the Green Wave. I'm going, I joined uh, Bear. I'm going with the Green Wave, too. I like the balance on offense. I think they're going to win a close one. I'm staying with the Army. Army. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. Army, Navy, period. Yeah. That's, a, <laughs> yeah. That's a great pick, Emmett. Upset at Mikey Stadium. Army. Yeah, Army at home, right? I, Tulane Army is home. a dangerous team. Yeah. Yeah. Army keeps the ball away from them. I like Army. Right, let's do a quick one here. Maybe the best teams in the MAC. MAC West, Western Michigan, Toledo. I like uh, the Broncos quarterback, John Watson. He's playing very well, so I'm going Western Michigan. I'm going Toledo. Yeah. And I have no earthly idea why. <laughs> <laughs> Go Rockets. Go that, Rockets. Fit right in. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very good pick, and reason why is excellent. Toledo. I'm going with Toledo because Emmett said to go with Toledo, so I'm going with Toledo. <laughs> Holy Toledo, we going with Toledo. Hey, Virginia Tech is making a quarterback change. Hooker's going to start there against the Canes. It's on ESPN at 3.30. Who quarterback wins? change isn't going to solve their problems. I'm going with the Canes in the close one. I say by a field goal. I'm going Miami. There we go. Yeah. State of Florida, Miami. Oh, good, right. good. Miami's won four of the last five versus Tech, and they cover, cover. Very important. Big. Big. Yeah, things are bad right now in Blacksburg for Virginia Tech. Quarterback change probably not going to affect that. Miami is one of those teams that started slow. People have forgotten about. Look at their schedule. They're just going to keep winning games, keep getting better with that freshman quarterback. All right, remember, we've been watching the weather uh, throughout the morning. Iowa State and TCU has been pushed back to 2 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN2. Who wins it? 
Oh. I'm going Cyclones. I think Iowa State's going to pull this game out. I'm going to Iowa State. Well, now that you mention the weather, which I have not been paying attention to, yeah, so yeah. I might want to change my pick because I was going to go with TCU. Oh, okay. Which the weather will affect the passing game. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, therefore, exactly. I think I will switch over and I'm going to go with the uh, Iowa, Iowa State. State. Okay. Okay. Going Good Iowa pick. State. Good pick. Great pick. I was, was it not so fast, but I got Now, Iowa State wins this one at home. You got Iowa State at home. I, I think I thought you had a little bit more there. I, I got Iowa State. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's good. That's good. I know you're excited for the end. I know. We're hurrying. We're hurrying. Iowa State at home. It doesn't matter. They get through, they get through it. If they ever play the game. Texas takes on West Virginia. That's 3:30 on ABC. Who wins? Texas is beat up right now, especially in the secondary. But I think the Longhorns will win. So I'm going Longhorns. I'm going to the Longhorns as well. Uh, they have enough talent on that football field oh, yeah. to win this game. The quarterback, I still love the quarterback, so, yeah. hey, why not? Texas, yep. real, real close. Really? Yes, watch oh. this one. See, I, I, I don't think they're peeking ahead to, to OU. Mm. I think there's maturity there with Sam Ellinger leading the way. Ton of injuries for Texas. Yeah. They're trying to get healthy for next week. I think they're fine. They went big with Sam making some big plays. Yeah. I, I agree with that across the board. I think it'll be by enough. And just, uh, by the way, that Oklahoma game you mentioned, Oklahoma has Kansas today. Because of the weather, they pushed kickoff back to 1230 right now, Eastern time in Lawrence, if you're looking for the Oklahoma-Kansas game a little bit later on. Kansas State, they host Baylor today. Uh, who you got? You got the Bears uh, staying perfect or running into a little trouble on ESPN2? I think they will run into a little trouble. K-State is tough. They're tough defensively, but I think Charlie Brewer and that offense is going to move the ball enough in the fourth quarter to eke out a victory. So I'm going with um, Baylor. I'm going with Baylor as well. I think the offense, they have enough offense for Kansas. I, Les Miles is still trying to get things right. I, if I said it right, yes. Yes. He's yeah, still yeah. trying to get things right. So, But I, I, I think Baylor. Baylor. Either we're going to be right or we're going to look lousy. We got a most pick. That's right. But you Baylor, Baylor. A lot of green bees yeah. down yeah. there, right? Yeah. Kansas State got humiliated last week against Oklahoma State. Perfect time Perfect. to go with Kansas yeah. State yeah. in a bounce-back game. I think Kansas State is a team that's going to run the football and play good defense today. Yeah, I think you're looking for Chris Kleiman there at Kansas State, uh, Miles at Kansas. All right, let's exactly. go to the Pac-12. Cal and Oregon. Cal, backup quarterback, Devon Monster in there against the Ducks. Yeah, I didn't like what I saw from the backup quarterback a week ago, so I'm going with Cal. I, I mean, I'm going with Oregon. I like Justin Herbert. I think they're going to win big against Cal today. I like Oregon as well. Um, hey, they have that high-flying offense. Oh, yeah. Why yeah. Not? Oh, yeah. Great nice quarterback. Pick, nice pick. They, Oregon has won nine the last ten against Cal. Oregon. You know, big, the the big injury cover. to Cal quarterback is significant. They're not going to have enough offense to stay up with Justin Herbert. Oregon, all those weapons are getting a few more receivers back. They went big today over Cal. All right, a couple teams that are 3-1 and one and sort of under the radar. Arizona taking on Colorado. Woo! This is a tough one for me. It's like, it's like flip a coin. I think uh, Colorado will win, but I'm expecting a hard-fought game. I'm going with the Buffaloes. I'm going with Arizona. Really? So, yes. It's I'm tough going with Arizona. Give them a chance. Give them a little bit of love. They yeah. need some love. Why not? <laughs> Finally, not so fast. <laughs> like Kyle Rouse unbeaten at home. They stay their their cover. Yeah, I, I think Chenault is big. If they can get him back, it's still game time decision, which would obviously help them. I'm just going really with Colorado at home. They they, they have a fan base right now believing in Mel Tucker. I like uh, CU. Yeah, Chenault's game time decision. Khalil Tate, J.J. Taylor missed Arizona's last game against UCLA. Okay, Kirk won't have a pick on this one. He's got Michigan State and Ohio State tonight, but you get to. Who wins it? Um, I tell you what, you look at Auburn's defense. I just think that that group is going to be the difference maker. You said Auburn. You mean Michigan State? Oh, I thought you said this game. Oh, no, Ohio no. State. Ohio State big over Michigan State. Okay. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. yeah. Ohio State. Yeah. I got the Buckeyes. Ohio State's won 12 in the last 14 games, but close. Real close. Ohio State wins this one. Close. close. I'm yes. flying up there to call the game. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. And the game that we've described yeah. as a crossroads game for Michigan today, the Wolverines hosting Iowa. They kick off in a few minutes. Who wins it? Oh, if Michigan could play anywhere close to where they played last week against Rutgers, I know it's Rutgers, but the offense seemed to finally get it. I think that Michigan will win a close one against Iowa. I just hope Michigan does, doesn't let anybody down this week. I mean, they were riding off this emotional yeah. win last week. Yeah. I'm going with Michigan again. Jim Harbaugh has to get his team rolling. Yeah. Why not this week? Yeah. Not so fast for the second time. Iowa in an upset over Michigan in the big house. Iowa. You know, Iowa. How, you know how you talk about urgency and redemption? redemption. I, I, 
I think that this will be a different Michigan team emotionally. Uh, last week against Rutgers, it, would, it was Rutgers. And to be honest, they didn't necessarily execute that much better. I just think it's going to be more of an attitude game. I think Don Brown's defense plays better against Nate Stanley. And I think Shea Patterson's going to make some big plays in the passing game. I think Michigan finds a way to get it done. Only one who's I am. You're the only one. <laughs> and then the game this afternoon in the yeah. Auburn and Florida. You know, Auburn is the SEC campus that is closest to Florida geographically, yet they haven't met in 2,900 days. Here's how long it's been. The last Florida coach to beat Auburn, the Zucker, Ron Zook. Will that change today in the showdown between the old rivals? It's a series that used to be one of the premier historic series in the South. Two football giants getting to play each other. You're going to the swamp, that's history down there. The fans being right there in your ear on the sideline just screaming at you. You know, they're in the East, we're in the West. It's still a huge game for everyone and for the shape of the college football playoff. Florida Gators don't get as much respect as other teams winning this game. will earn us a lot of respect. The whole world's going to be watching. It could be a really defining moment. And we have the talent to do it. Yeah. Auburn and Florida this afternoon. Bear, give me, well, how are you leaning on this one, Bear? Come on, Bear. Well, we saw last year the Gators were an underdog four times under Dan Mullen. They won three of them outright. The last four times Dan Mullen's team had been a home underdog. They covered four of them, won three outright. Remember last year they couldn't go to Mississippi State and beat that Florida Mississippi State defense. I think spread the ball around and get it out quick. Florida gets the home upset. Oh, Gators. Gators with some, with some numbers. I'll tell you what, I, I just like what I've seen so far from Bo Nix, his pro, uh, progression, his development. I think he's, this not, it's not going to be too big for him, Emmett. I got to go with Auburn in the close one, man. Oh. I got to go with Auburn. I understand why. All that sounds good. Yeah. I agree. Bo Nix has done a very good job for Auburn thus far. Mm -hmm. Been following and watching the kid grow and mature as a quarterback. For sure. But I absolutely believe that our defense has to get one of the quarterbacks behind this day. We need to put a spy on Bo Nick so he yeah. doesn't get out of the pocket. Yep. I'm going with our defense, and I think our offense is good enough to put enough force on the board to Gators. beat us all the time. <laughs> If this game were being played in Jordan Hare, I'd pick Auburn. If this game were being played on a neutral field, I'd, I'd pick good. Auburn. It's being played at the Swamp. I'm going to Gators. Hey, good thing. Wow. All right, see, that was quick. That was quick. That was quick. Wow. As a... As, as if a you for, put anything on your head outside of a gate, I think I'm going to have to hit you in your jaw. <laughs> as a former Florida State player and coach, yeah. I faced the Gators for a long, long time. Listen to this. 61 years ago, 61, I coached in the first ever Florida Forest State game. Wow, 61. And the Gators won. Gators won. I haven't been a fan of theirs ever since. <laughs> <laughs> but, sweetheart, this pick is strictly business. Give me that get ahead. Hey! Wow. 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 We'll see. Make it with Oh, look what we have here. Hey, now. We got a live game. That's a live game now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Shoes, I tell you that. Look at him. <laughs> a real one of the Gator. Oh, hey, take a look. Hey, hey, what a great morning it's been here in Florida. Oh, Georgia. my God. It's, 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 it's coming up right now. Uh, I was calling about the ad for uh, game show lovers. Yeah. Game show lovers? What's a game show lover? What are you talking about, game show lover? Uh, this is a announcing application for all TV game shows. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean lover, right? It doesn't say lover. Well, that's what it says in the ad. No, it shouldn't say lover because I didn't print the word fucking lover. That sounds like pussy shit to me. What are you looking for? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Listen, I'm catching the game show. You understand? Yes. I put you in your favorite game show. What show you like? <laughs>
how you would answer Mr. Quebec. You understand? Kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> 